today we're going to talk about selling digital goods online. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you could use Google Suite, uh, the G Suite, like Google Drives, Docs, uh, and Google Forms to set up a automatic way to let somebody buy an item from you and then deliver it to them electronically. Uh, it's going to be quick and easy to get up, set up and you could use things like PayPal or Square or Stripe. Uh, no website hosting, uh, no upfront costs. Generally, it should be quick and easy for you to do. So what I've done here is I've made a sample ebook. This is just a fake little ebook that I created using uh, Google Docs. And I downloaded it to my desktop by doing file uh, download as a PDF. And I turned it into a PDF. I then went to my Google Drive and I uploaded this file here, my sample ebook. So now I have a PDF version inside my Google Drive of my ebook and one of my, uh, I have a, a fake MP3 file that we could also kind of sell. And so the next step to do is to get up and running with a Google form. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to forms.google.com and I am going to make a new ebook for um, my uh, Kyle's. Uh, I'm just going to put ebook here and I am going to make an option called uh, digital copy and it is going to be, uh, let's just make it be $5 and I will make a digital plus physical copy. Maybe you also can sell it um, uh, and you have actual version, so we're gonna make that one be $25. Okay, so generally this is how you would go to make a Google Form. And if you had any other questions that you wanted to add to your form, you can easily do that. Uh, Google Forms is really powerful. Uh, you can create like a little short answer question that says like, how did you hear about the book? You know, anything you would wanna know from your customers, you can uh, ask them stuff like that here, which is uh, pretty handy and very easy. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna use an add-on, and if you've never used the Payable Forms add-on, check out some of our other videos, but um, you would just install Payable Forms as an add-on, and then that would give you this little menu here, and then you can click Make This Form Payable. So what this is gonna do is this is going to activate the Payable Forms add-on inside of this form, and I'm gonna hit Auto Configure Form and Sheet, okay. And then since I've already set up my payment questions, I don't need to add the sample payment section. So I am gonna sync my theme and I am going to connect a payment provider. Let me get rid of that. And so for payment providers, Payable offers Stripe, uh, PayPal, Razorpay, Square, Rapid, a good chunk of the most common ones. But for today, I'm just gonna go through uh, normal PayPal flow submissions and links it up. Okay, when you get that, you can hit close window, and then we're gonna go back to the form, and you can hit check connections, and you should see a link now for PayPal. Uh, there we go, connected. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the form on as payable, and what we're gonna do next is now scroll down. We're gonna leave test mode on, and we're gonna go into the checkout settings and at the bottom here you can see a post payment message so you can display a custom message on the invoice shown to the buyer only after payment has been made so since this is my cat ebook i'm going to go back to my docs here i'm going to click on my ebook i'm going to click this button to get a link to it and i am going to make sure that it's public so anyone with the link on the internet anyone with this link can get to it uh, as a viewer, and I'm gonna copy the link, okay? And then you can always check it if you wanna open a new tab and paste that in and make sure that the view, okay, so there's my cat ebook, perfect, pops up. And what we're gonna do now is go back to our form, and in the post payment message, we're gonna say, thank you for your purchase. Um, to download the digital version of the ebook, please click um, the link below. And then I am going to paste in that link, okay? 
So we have done that. Okay, we're gonna leave there and that will update those settings. Perfect, okay. And this is actually a product or a good. And uh, I don't, you can add taxes here if you wanted to. So we can kind of bump the taxes up to 13% if we wanted. And that looks good, okay. So to see what your form looks like when somebody else is filling it out, what we do is click the eyeball and that gives you the preview. Uh, and so what this will do is show us a preview of um, the form. So how did I hear about the book? I'm gonna say uh, on a YouTube video. Yeah, YouTube video. And I'm gonna get the digital copy only and hit submit. What happens here is the payable forms add-on has made a link to transition to the checkout. So they automatically look for money amounts. And now you'll see uh, Kyle's Cat eBook, okay? And the total here, which is a digital copy. Um, it'll ask for the contact details and it is now going to host a secure checkout page for my users. So just like that, um, a user is able to transition from a Google form into this hosted secure checkout and they can pay. We've left it in test mode. So that means we don't have to use real money to go through and practice, uh, which is really quite handy. So let's go through. I'm gonna use this fake Visa card. Hey. Um, the 0224, 366, and uh, 90210, and we're gonna pay. And so what this will do is kind of make a fake transaction for us. It'll process the payment. All right, and here we are on the confirmation page. And you can see in the post payment message, here is the description that we wrote. So it says, thank you for your purchase. To download a digital version of the ebook, please click the link below. So now somebody can uh, grab the ebook from your Google Drive and they could hit download and save it, which is quick and easy way for you to have sold this PDF for five dollars. Um, really handy, really fast, really easy. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you're in your responses of your sheet, what you will see is if you click here, view responses in sheet. Um, each time somebody submits your Google form, it's coming into this Google Sheet. The payable forms add-on creates an order ID for you, calculates the total, um, it'll mark it as paid, how the person paid, they'll give you the transaction ID for PayPal and everything right here. Um, so you're able to kind of keep track of who has purchased your digital good. Now to keep people from sharing the link, you know, somebody might uh, take their share link from their um, custom uh, from here and send it to all of their friends. You could update this, you know, maybe about once a week if you wanted to, but if you're just getting started and, you know, sending it to people who are friends and family and generally honest uh, and not gonna take your file and uh, share the link with everyone, you know, there's nothing really stopping somebody from downloading the file and uploading it themselves. Uh, that's part of the problem with, you know, digital file delivery, but um, you can always change the uh, link, uh, maybe once a week or once a month, just to make sure that the new link is only going out to people who are uh, payers for you. But in about five or 10 minutes, you're able to get up and running with digital delivery using just the Google suite of products. Hope that was helpful. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments and check out our other YouTube videos for more details on the payable apps and payable forms add-on.